Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the eTrailer pre-greased hub and drum assembly here on our 2020 KZ Sportsman Classic travel trailer. Our drum assembly has a nice zinc enriched coating for its paint so that it can help resist rust, as well as a zinc coated lug nut to resist rust and corrosion while attached to your wheel. All the bearings, races, your grease seal, your grease cap are all going to come included in this kit and they're already going to be pre-greased so that you don't have to sit there and pack the bearings which can be quite a messy and tiresome uh, process to get all of your hub and drum assembly installed. As far as installation difficulty goes, it is super simple. Uh, we honestly threw this on within five minutes so it really shouldn't take you that long. There is quite a bit of prep. You definitely want to make sure that you have plenty of shop towels because dealing with the grease can be quite messy. Uh, I recommend wearing gloves. Um, you're going to need a grease gun. You're going to need some grease. Um, but I think that's about it. All those parts you can get here as well just so you can get it all at once. Make it real easy to just slip that new hub right on place. Um, while you're doing that though, I definitely recommend checking out your brakes, making sure that your brake shoes are great condition, you don't have any cracks in them, um, they're not worn down too much. It's just easier if you get it all done at once instead of having to pull this off and redo it all just to put those brakes on. So to begin our installation, first you're going to remove your hub assembly here. We've already gone ahead and did that just to kind of get a little bit of a diagnostic on what exactly happened inside of here. Um, our outer bearing actually kind of blew up in here and just kind of fell apart and then the washer and our castle nut kind of also welded to each other so we had to break those off and get that out and it kind of was a big hassle trying to get all of that stuff actually off of here and get it all set up but now we're going to go ahead and we will put some grease into our spindle and we're going to clean out the old dirty grease that's in there you're going to want to grab some shop towels kind of get those positioned to catch that so you don't get it all over the assembly here and then we'll put on our grease gun and just start pumping it out. And you can see it's going to come out of that hole right there on the side. And you can see it's already coming out clean. It was actually not too bad. So there probably was some work done on this trailer recently, but you can see that first grease that came out was all black and gross. So it's good to swap that out. And we can pull off our grease gun and start assembling our hub here. So next thing I'm going to do is just grease up our spindle just to make it go on nice and easy. Now our bearings are already packed. You don't have to do that, but it always makes it a lot easier if you just get the spindle nice and lubed up. Then we can go ahead and we'll slide on our hub. I'm gonna make sure we're doing this as straight as possible. And pop it right into place. Push our bearing back in there. And you can hear there's a little bit of an air pocket right now. So what we're gonna do once we have this all tightened down is we're going to go ahead and grease up through that grease circle and that's going to push out a little bit of the grease that's already packed into those bearings but it's also going to push out any air that could be entrapped in here and then you don't have to worry about any condensation building up inside here and rusting out any of your parts now we can go ahead and take our washer if you need to replace yours like we're doing right now you can get it here at e-trailer as well and there are a few different kinds depending on this type of your spindle and same thing for that castle nut so we'll screw that on. My threads are a little bit marred up just from that bearing. So I am going to have to use a wrench here. All right, so when you're putting on your castle nut, you want to get it just tight enough and then kind of back it off so that you can actually get to the hole. Put your pin through. And we lucked out. Ours ended up pretty well on there, so I can just slide our old pin back in place. Although our pin has definitely seen some better days. Once we get it through, kind of pull it down. There we go. Once we get it in there, we're going to go ahead and we'll just Twist that up, and that's gonna prevent it from coming out. And we can start greasing up our spindle. 
We just had one air pocket come out. And grease is starting to come. So we should be good. Just wipe off that excess. All right, now we can go ahead and we can put on our dust cap. Now this kit does come with a regular dust cap or a dust cap that's designed for easy lube spindles, just like what we have here. All you have to do is just pop out this little cap right here and then you can grease your spindle and your whole hub assembly without having to remove the whole hub. And then it makes repacking those bearings super easy and you don't have that giant mess all over your hands. But we're gonna go ahead and we will tap this into place. I'm just going to use a rubber mallet. We don't want to use anything metal because that will end up starting to uh, bend your dust cap there. Let's make sure we get that in there nice and tight. And we'll put a piece of wood across it again just to make sure we get an even coverage over it as we're hitting it. It's really on there. Should be all good. And then all we have to do is just put our little cap on here. And we're good to put our wheel back on. Well, I think that about does it for today's installation of the e-trailer pre-greased hub and drum assembly here on our 2020 KZ Sportsman Classic travel trailer. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.